you're at your home, your happy place. My name is Debbie. Welcome. If this is your first time, I hope you stay, enjoy, and consider subscribing. If you are already a subscriber, thank you so much. I love those people. I love you all, but I love the people that I get to talk to. And a lot of you are so faithful in coming back. I'm, I know your names. And it just, it really makes this so much more worthwhile for me because I get to interact with you. Today, we are gonna do a guest bedroom. And if you watched my previous summer haul video, you ha heard me refer to the butterfly room. Actually, today, as I'm taking some of the pictures and stuff down I'm, to get ready to show you before, I am um, wondering if it's not the moth room. <laughs> what is the difference between a butterfly and a moth? Cause there's some gorgeous moths out there. I don't know. I'm going to have to check that out, but I'm sure somebody out there will let me know. So, um, I'm going to show you a before and then, um, we'll start decorating. Okay. This room, um, this is our smallest bedroom in the house. Uh, they actually just came and finally fixed those windows. One of them had, the wrong trim. In fact, I can see from the camera here that it still needs to be painted white. It was so odd. It took us uh, about eight months to even notice that there was something off. But anyway, uh, we bought this bed. Um, it was one of Wayfair stores. I can't, Birch Lane, I think. The first one came cracked and there were no parts for it. So they resent us a new one and I was about to order, well, I did order a King, very rattan style one last summer and it just never would come in. And they talked me into buying a different one and it didn't come in and I'm like, forget it. I'm canceling the order. And it's funny, just the other day I was looking maybe on Pinterest or just in the images and I saw a kind of British West Indies look. I think that's probably what I was looking for my photos. And this bed was in there or a similar bed. So I love, you know, I love the wood. I was thinking of painting it, you guys. I don't, I don't re usually paint. There's nothing fancy about this wood. Um, and I was going to go coral. But you know what? I don't know if you're familiar with the store. And I'm going to say it wrong because I can't remember it. It's, it's something with the word Maine in it, the state of Maine. And they have really colorful beach type furniture. And I just thought this bed would be gorgeous painted in a bright coral. As I pulled this all together, I was glad it was brown because it grounded the space with all the color I brought in. Um, I had this and that one over there, which is the same cut and style. Got those at... Uh, TJ Maxx years ago, but this one's a clear blue <laughs> and this one has an antiquing over it. I've never tried to match the antiquing. This also, that one's purely painted and this one has some distressing on it. So I am going to paint these to match one day, but um, okay, we got that. And then my light fixtures, again, you, you know, you're starting to see the direction from the very beginning, as we were putting the house together, I knew where I was headed with this. And honestly, this matches very closely to what we have around the bar and over the pool table. Um, but I love these. Um, this is, I just was listening to somebody talk about barn doors, saying how farmhousey they are and everything. Well, you know what? They're not always farmhouse. And the hardware very much goes with the look of what we're doing in here. Um, so this is not a farmhouse, uh, bedroom by any stretch of the imagination, but you know, we didn't have room for a door to open here. So we had to do something and we couldn't do a pocket door here cause we have a pocket door there. I mean, it was just so many things going on. Um, somebody mentioned at my last one that a luggage rack would be nice. So I've got luggage racks. I'm just showing you the closet. Luggage racks in every room, obviously used them. So that's that. She used my towel. I have two towels and I usually have two robes, but since she was a single um, and uh, I always keep the disposable slippers, which somebody used upstairs, but nobody used here. I always keep a brand new one of these. This past Christmas, we put this 
rug down. It was Target. It was something that I, I just don't love, but we needed something quickly because his mother was coming. She uses a walker, so I want her to get out on a sturdy, um, warm floor. <laughs> So we bought two of them and put them on either side of the bed. They blend well. I mean, they're not, it's, the color's fine. It matches the the blues in, in here and the wood floor. Um, and it doesn't stand out too much. So that's great. We hung a mirror. I was so excited. I thought, you know what? I, I'm going to try and see what I could possibly put on there that would go over it. And sure enough, uh, we were able to hang that mirror, which is... It's a, I think it's plastic. Yeah, this is just a plastic mirror. Very inexpensive, but it really pulls together some of these, these colors. Um, I, this was probably here the last time. I don't know. This was just something we picked up at uh, Lowe's uh, to go with it. There was no place in the bathroom for it. So we wanted a place for somebody to hang their robe or towel or whatever. Um, I have the exact same fan in this room. That I have in the other so we have the big full palm blades on it I have a china a, um, china buffet in here again it was a piece I was not willing to give up and I had no place for it and you know what it's a nice grounding spot for the television you I've got it well over here I believe I have towels although she may have used them all yeah so I keep the towels in there for the room um, you know, I, I stock Tylenol, Advil, makeup remover, fingernail files. There's extra toothbrushes and toothpaste and floss. It, it works fine for an overnight guest, I think, besides the fact that they have a closet. And now I have a place to set decor items or things that I want to uh, bring for them. Um, when we got all done pulling this together this time, I said, you know what, let's, I think there's room in this width here to add a bed. Uh, I love the studs on this. I don't know where it's from, when I bought it. I love the, the scrolly bottom on it. And this allows her also to, you know, throw some bags on it and not be having them all over the rest of the room. We did finally hang hardware. So we've got a double curtain rod up there and then I already had these shears I think pretty sure I did um so we hung those and then that allows you know she's it, it gives her a little bit of privacy but from this room she can see outside so you get a peek outside at what's going on with the pool um and then oh I love I love the feel of these okay my disappointment with these these are white there's a I don't I feel like they said they were blackout. I'm not sure if they really are. Um, I got them on Amazon. My disappointment was I wanted them to pool a little on the bottom and they truly were not the length they said they were. Um, they're about two or three inches shorter. Uh, and I was gonna send them back, but I needed them right away. And then I feel guilty because I used them. So I'm not sending them back. But I may just add a fringe or trim to the bottom to get the length I want and then to add a little bit more of personality uh, to them and make them my own. So this is the basics. Now we're going to pull it together and decorate it. So I'm going to start with the buffet dresser <laughs> and we're going to trip that one out with some decor. So I'm going to bring in basically uh, these might might have even been yeah they are oh my gosh they have a, I never even knew they had that plaque there so that says Loren so these are Ralph Loren lamps I got at home goods they have a beautiful wood piece up there they've got this gorgeous wood base the shape is to die for the pattern and then there's a crystal um on top and I'm not sure I'm kind of having this memory that <clears throat> they were they didn't match on the top. Somebody had changed out. So I think they had wood finials. 
And then I just got home and had and I put crystal because I didn't have any wood, but it's fine. So I'm gonna put two of these on either side of the television on the table here. So let me turn you around so you can see what we're doing. Let's see, is that good? I think so. I should get my pledge out of here. I'll plug them in at the same time. People say um, there's not, it's not seconds or rejects or whatever at Home Goods. Well, that plaque is right next to the plug, which is why I've never seen it before. The plug that you know the cord that comes out. The plaque was supposed to be on the front, so it was clearly visible. So I would say that's it. Didn't keep me from buying it. I've had these for, gosh three years, <laughs> maybe, and I never even knew that was on there, so. Next, I'm gonna put in one of my trays. Um, I love, I mean, when you look in, underneath some of these, you can see how well these are made. And that bamboo, it is so gorgeous. And that, it's just lovely. I love it. I don't know where I got it. It was one of those discount stores. I'm setting it at an angle. That's just me. Some people who are very symmetrical would put this right in the center and straight on. I like to angle things. Plus, I'm going to put another little vignette right there. Um, this is not the one. I did not steal this from the other room. I bought, I think I bought on accident, Ooh, two sets of the, let me not drop this and break it. Two sets of the bathroom items that went with that bedspread from Ballard's. So I believe it was, you know, a couple of, it was this, and then it was a soap dish, and a little, I think there might have been a toothbrush holder, and then a cup. I don't know if there's anything else. But anyway, since I have another one, I just put it in here empty. And just one of my pieces of coral. And by the way, you guys, so I was in Home Goods a week ago. Almost every coral that I've shown you, except for the red ones, and that doesn't mean they're not there, uh, all those white flat ones that are in my summer styling uh, shelves are all at Home Goods now, even though I bought mine years ago. So definitely check out your local Home Goods or go online and see if they've got it. And I have a square ginger jar. Also, not from the other room. I have a shorter one in the other room, so I must have bought all of these at the same time. There's no price tags. I don't really know where they were from. Uh, they could have been from Pier One, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, but I know you can always find something like this if you're interested. So I like the height of this because it's not as tall as my lamp, obviously. Um, and then I had these random things. My mother had things and I, they're not my cup of tea, but I'm trying to use some of them in my decor. And uh, most people would put this in the kitchen, but whatever. I just, they were little roosters or chickens or no, this one's not, this one's really a bird. And that's definitely, a hen or something, but they're blue and white. So I just set them there. I'll do a close up when I'm done. I may be done, but let me do a real quick check out there and see.
I'm going to just do this side of the room right now. And I'm going to start with the picture. It's got a lot of color on it. So I don't know. I just, it looks very professor like to me or a library of interesting items. So I really think. Sorry, my ring light's showing. Okay, now I'm going to add some books again. This is going to be cluttered looking for many people, but I'm trying to make it feel very welcoming. You know, my husband and I, we have often traveled to bed and breakfasts. The thing he hated the most about a bed and breakfast was having to share a table with people. Not that we're opposed to talking to people because God knows we've met people and now we travel with them. <laughs> so that's not the issue, but I don't know. Uh, you go away to a bed and breakfast and most of the time it's a romantic thing. So it's not like I want to share a meal with strangers. So, but the thing that I feel when I go to them most of the time is just well loved and they just put in the most unique little things. They think of everything and they do throw books in and movies if it's the kind that I like. So that's my goal. I've said this before. Our dream was really to have a bed and breakfast. And um, we fulfilled that dream by doing the vacation rentals, but it wasn't the same. And so now we kind of do it. Basically, this is our you know, this is for friends and family that come to visit us. So we're giving, hopefully giving them that kind of feeling and experience, although they have to eat breakfast with us. Okay, I'm going to pop something on there. I think I'm going to go with what I had originally, which was a bowl, glass bowl. In the other room, this is not the same bowl. Um, in the other room, I um, put seashells in it. This one, I'm leaving it empty. They can toss whatever they want in there. You know, her keys or her phone, whatever. I'm just setting it up there. On the bottom shelf, I have more novels. Um, that I just didn't bother to pick up. And then I'm popping in magazines. So on the top, I'm going to put a picture. I'm not showing you her. But I'm going to show you the puka shell or whatever that you see there. And trimmed in gold. Not puka shells. Anyway, I just think they're beautiful. And again, you saw my other bedroom. I had two of these. Again, I'd like to have two in every room, but um, these have gotten pricey. I feel, feel like they're $40, $46 each now. I did not pay that. I found a lot smaller ones. They're about this tall, and the glasses are really small, but they're cut crystal, and they're around $28. So I picked up a couple of those, um, and they're in upstairs rooms right now. This again was something of my mother's. The bad news is you don't always know the value of things. So I don't think the bottom's blurred. You can't even read it. The print is blurred. So I'm assuming with the print being that blurred that it was probably, you know, something from Home Goods or TJ Maxx. And then the cup. I can't read it either. It's such a pretty cup. Look at that fluting on it. And saucer. Saucer is also gorgeous. Microwave and dishwasher safe. That's all it says on there. So look at the design on that edging and inside of it. It's so pretty. So I do serve tea and there's a coffee bar out there that has coffee or tea. 
Um, although that's more of an espresso size, but whatever. And I know, oh, where are you going with this? Hot pink and lime green? Oh no. <laughs> oh yes, this room is going to liven up. It is got gonna be anything like the other one. It has nods to it, but it's a different room. Okay, I'm gonna call that side done. I'll give you a close up. It's really fun to have taken pieces that I've had for years, and I'm telling you, four years, uh, and just pull them together in a whole new way. I love that. I Who knows how long I've had these? So this was $29.99 back in the day. So this is a different one. I'm oh, sorry, my ring light. Honestly, the day I finished hanging this up, that moth was outside live on my garage door, but I think it's beautiful. I don't know which one's my favorite. I love them all. Isn't that gorgeous? So on um, this one, I'm gonna be hanging it, let me move this over just a tad, on this wall right here, cause we already had a hook. <laughs> and I just thought, do we leave it? Or, you know, do we, I mean, we had all kinds of options of what we could do. I just think that looks lovely. So this is, I'm doing this one on the other one, but you know, sideways and it's the group of friends. And then wanted a candle in here. Oh, I can smell a little whiff of it. Yeah. Wood wick, not wood works. Oh my gosh. Oh. So I love the color stories in them. This one really doesn't necessarily go with the color story in here, but the scents were a big deal. So this one is Melon Blossom, Coastal Sunset, which I love that one, and Palo Santo, which I also, I think that was the one that I had in a black one in there. So, so beautiful. She didn't light it. I can't imagine that flame is probably quite beautiful because it's a long wick. They're not inexpensive. So Walmart ups their game, but the price goes up too. I found this in my stuff. So totally has the same flavor as the rest. But this was so odd and I kept thinking, you know what? I'm gonna pull them out and I'm gonna redo it. After trying about four different bedspreads on in here, um, after trying all these different bedspreads, I landed on a very colorful one that this one just works great with, which is why those other flowers work well too. So I'm not changing it. I wanted a little height over here. Anyway, um, I just stuck a variety of some old comedies and some, uh, 
I don't know, military and I just don't know. Anyway, I stuck these in here. I don't think she watched any. I don't think anybody had time. We were having too much fun together to watch TV. Okay, I think all I have left is the bed. But I still have my butterfly, which I could totally see over here um, where I have those chickens. I might like it there. I don't really see a place for the ball. And the magnifying glass could go on that tray. I could put it on a stack of books, but I really don't think I will. But I gotta take the tags off. I forgot the clock. The clock has birds on it. And it's a quieter one. Okay. I think this would be amazing on a stack of books, but the way I have things that set up right now and I'm just gonna leave it, um, I'm gonna take these little birds away since I wasn't that much in love. And I'm just gonna set this here. I'll put the birds on top of the Bible. And I'm gonna take the magnifying glass. And just set it in there. Okay, we're gonna make the bed. I know you haven't seen all of that close up, but. When I get the bed done, we'll go ahead and um, do a final reveal. So I'm going to tell you the color story for the bedding, but I'm going to put different sheets on. So um, these are dirty. That's why they're not going on. But these would be the sheets. Once they're clean, I will re-put them on. Um, this is the bedding I ended up with. And... I buy a lot, most of the bedding I buy is, well, now I guess it's three places because I've been ordering a lot off of Amazon lately. Um, prior to that, you know, the, a lot of it was Home Goods, TJ Maxx. But when I want something super special, um, I just love Waverly and I can pick up Waverly at, in Crown and Ivy at Belk. And you can shop Belk.com. Their prices are amazing. Waverly just goes above and beyond because you're going to get all the pieces versus just, you know, pillow shams and a, and a comforter or a duvet. So this is the pattern. I told you it was bright. So there's my pink flowers there, pink flowers. There's uh, the green from the butterflies and the dark color. Um, this color blue and that butterfly. I mean, it really does work. And then the trim on it and the reverse side is all of this blue and white. It just pulled it together. Isn't it exciting? This is not, you know, this would not be considered British West Indies. This would not necessarily be considered Ralph Lauren. We got Ralph Lauren light, uh, lamps in here and they look great with this. So it's fun when you can find ways to mix. Uh, this is a Tommy Bahama. I don't know what they called it particularly, but it's a breathable blanket that supposedly, if it's cold outside, it's going to keep you warm. If it's warm outside, it's going to keep you cool. And it's kind of got a little bit of a waffle weave to it. So it's kind of light, fairly lightweight. That's the hem that's making it thick. So again, I put a blanket even in the summer on. Most people will take your duvets or your comforters and fold them up at the end of the bed or take them off completely, which is what I prefer. But I know that a sheet alone is not gonna make somebody warm uh, in, when we live in air conditioning. So, although we were able to have our windows open quite a bit while our friends were here, the temperatures were amazing. Fortunately, the bedspread I'm putting on, so this is a little hack maybe. I put kings on my queens if I want to. It just makes, it's longer, 
and that's fine. I have more king bedding than I have queen, and so if there's times when I want that to work, I'm not going to buy another one in another size. So I just I just do it. Okay, I can already hear people. Why aren't you using that side? It's got the blue and white. You can basically do the same thing. Well, because I it's not the same room. With all the color that I have in here, and I, I need the color on the other side, and I don't need this to ground it. It's honestly, I tried it. It doesn't work. And this is, while it's a pretty pattern, it's just a print on there, whereas on this side, this is a very beautiful um, woven fabric. This is gorgeous. And the details. heavy just I know I'm grunt, grunting but it's a it's really a heavy bedding This is what I'm talking about with Waverly. You're gonna get all kinds of options. So this is my pillow shams, which I can turn or not, and I'm not. Remember this is a king on a queen, so I'm scrunching these together a little bit. And we have um, some other pillows. These have a really beautiful stitching on them and these are embroidered the birds. Same birds that you're seeing in there are embroidered in here. In the center of the coordinating pillow, now this is the yellow that you barely see on the bottom trim of the blanket, which really doesn't show up. It's right here. So maybe you'll see it when we do the close-ups. And then a gorgeous bolster pillow that incorporates all of it. I think you can kind of see now why I needed the color. It looks really nice. So I have two more things that I'm going to show you, but I'm going to put them I'll show them to you and then I'm going to put them in place. Uh, my ring light's in that spot right now and the room is kind of small. So I have one of these really pretty puff uh, wicker or straw. I really don't know what that fabric is. And then crocheted top. I love these. They're great for laundry. Um, again, like in my other room, I wanted some kind of blanket that was lightweight that could be used for anything just to cover up, to put over your shoulders after you're done in the pool or something. I don't know. Just So this was um, a souvenir, obviously. I loved it. We went to Mackinac Island um, a year and a half ago, almost two years, and um, it was one of the things that we picked up. And then um, I don't even know where I got this. have no idea. But it's always nice um, to offer to have a tote, whether 
It's for them just to throw their sunglasses and a book and a hat in to go out to the pool, or maybe they don't have a beach bag. I have plenty of beach bags. <laughs> Let me just be honest. I have an array of hats for people. I have tons of sunglasses, and I have a lot of beach totes. So no one has to ever worry that they're not going to have something. But it's just the it's just again things I like to potentially put in because if I'm going to run out there, I don't need a beach bag. I'll just throw some stuff in, some sandals, my suntan lotion, a visor or hat, um, and something to read. And even maybe I'll throw in a, a snack and cold drink. So I just put this in the corner, and then. And then last, I have a gorgeous, I'm going to lift it up, it's metal. Well, you can see the wear on it, and yet I love it. I see wear on the metal. I don't think you can see it here, but it's got a beautiful woven seat. And then at the top, well, I'll turn it around, this gorgeous. And then this is just a pillow that was with a set, a bedding set I bought. Okay, I'm gonna set these things in and we're gonna do a, a close-up reveal and... All right, welcome to the butterfly room. <laughs> and here we go. that's today's video you guys i hope you had fun i hope you enjoyed a uh, completely different i don't even know what to call it other than the butterfly room or the moth room um it's it's a totally different look so but yet it really feeds into the look out here once we turn you around and show you the whole thing which i'm going to be also bringing you i have so many things i'm bringing you my daughter's reveal for her nursery it's done and the baby's doing like, I don't know, 10 days or less today. Yeah, around 10 days, it's the baby's due. So we gotta get in there before the baby comes in and messes it up, right? And um, then I'm gonna be doing my book reviews. 
Um, and then I want to show you the coffee bar here and a little bit more of the rec room area. So we have all of that plus the upstairs, outside, upstairs again, and everything else that I told you about, design dilemmas, etc. So I hope you'll subscribe if you're not, and I look forward to the next time I see you. Bye, you guys. Make your home your happy place. Thank you.